St. Patrick's veteran Kane Arandachikis has labelled Luke Restall's match-winning grand final century the best he's seen at the club. And an emotional captain, Heath Norton, says the second-year recruit now bleeds green and white. It was an emotional moment when the long-time Paddy's captain greeted his match winner. It's something we've been working towards probably three or four years now. And... It might have been the season which never got started due to rain, but it ended with a third successive thrilling grand final. St Patrick's ran down Lamington Panthers 233, with Luke Restall hitting the winning runs with 11 balls left. We went and identified him you know, a few years ago. It took a long time to get him across, but he's paid us in spades today. That's the best I've seen here, for sure. That's a massive compliment, but Restall's unbeaten 112, which included 17 falls, was majestic. And it's also his first century there, after posting just 295 runs at 25 last season. He previously captained Aubrey Titans. It was a very hard decision to leave the club I, I was playing for previously. Um, a couple of other players left and I thought it would be the best move for my cricket. And a great bunch of blokes to play with too. Most enjoyable cricket I've played. Restall finished with 454 runs at 57. And it was just his second premiership from seven attempts. But it's the temperament and technique which sets him apart. A lot of hard work, mate. A lot of hard work. My old man, um, stepdad, Barry McDonald when I was a junior. A lot of help. He talks to you all the time. And you always got confidence and you know he's going to make the runs as long as you're there with him to the end. He's someone like Luke Restall and Wayne Hawking have come from other clubs and you know, they, bleed, they bleed green and white now. And Ensign Pats claim the top three titles at provincial level. Andrew Moyer, Win News.